Hi, my name is Ryan Navarro and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the differences between the BOSS and Open Pocket features in Camworks. You may have seen these different types of features if you ever went to add a part perimeter feature to your part. When I create a part perimeter feature, I get to choose whether I want an Open Pocket type or a BOSS type. If I choose Open Pocket, and then generate my operation plan and generate toolpath, I'll see that all the material is roughed away up to my part. So if you're starting with a block of material and you want to remove all that material down to your part, then you want to be using the open pocket type of strategy. However, if we had multiple parts like this that we were trying to cut out of a sheet, that would be a situation where we'd want to use the boss type part perimeter. So I'm just going to delete my open pocket type part perimeter and let's try adding a boss type. Use the core strategy. And when I generate this we'll see that it just follows the profile of my part. So we can see that it's just following the profile. So if I were to cut this out of a sheet, if I had a lot more stock here, It would be the much more efficient way to do it as far as saving material. Okay. Another difference between open pocket and boss type features arises when we look at a part that has multiple extrusions like this. So here I've got a part that if I look at it from the side it's got kind of one Z level with multiple different extrusions. And I could try to define those extrusions as bosses. I could create two and a half axis features and create a boss. Select the faces and my end conditions. Okay, but it won't really accomplish what I want because when I generate the operation plan and generate the toolpath for this, I'll see that it's just going to chase that profile, which will do a good job of, of capturing that shape, but it's not roughing away all the other material that I need to remove. So to accomplish that, we can use the open pocket type feature. Choose open pocket and we'll select this face. When I click next, I need to specify my, my end condition so I can specify up to another face or I can say up to the, my stock. There's an option here for use stock extents. So if you look at the green rectangle preview there right now, my open pocket is gonna cover the entire area of my stock. If I toggle that option then it will only affect the areas contained by the edges of that face that I selected. So there may be times you want to use one or the other. In this case I want to rough away all the material down to that face so I'll use the stock extents. And then you want to make sure you click next because we want to define these individual extrusions as islands for the open pocket. So that's how we're able to machine all this away with just one type of feature because we're going to define these internal features as islands. And I can do that by clicking add and selecting the edges or faces I want to, to add as islands or I can click auto detect and Camerx will automatically find them for me. Now if I click finish and generate my operation plan and toolpath we can see that we're removing all the material down to those extrusions. So using an open pocket and detecting the islands is a very quick way to program a part like this. But again, if you were only intending to clean this up, maybe if this part was a casting or something and you just needed to chase that outside profile, then using the boss type feature could be the way to go. Okay, And just because it chases this profile doesn't mean that we can't have multiple passes either if we want. So if you are cleaning up a casting or something like that, and you want to have some approach passes, we can modify our contour mill here. If I double click my contour mill operations, and usually the contour mill is set up to look at some allowance left over from a previous operation. So if I click settings here, 
Right now my contour mill is trying to cut 50 thousandths at a time and it has a previous allowance here specified of 50 thousandths. So that means I'm only going to take one cut. But if I wanted to have some approach passes, I could increase my previous allowance. And if I click preview, we'll see that now we're taking three passes into our boss. Okay. So I hope this video was helpful in understanding the differences between the boss type feature and the open pocket type feature, both for defining features like this for extrusions and also for understanding how the part perimeter behaves.